everybody. Welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. This is where I sit in my infrared sauna for about an hour. Talk about things that make me realize how to keep my vibration really high because there's so much intense energy around these days that it's really important to keep your vibration high. And so right now it's 134 degrees and I have about 40 minutes left. And so this is a place where I detox and I just, you know, release a lot of things that I know are holding me back and also that I can use to feel better and feel more up and optimistic and happy because right now it's intense I mean god like seriously but so I wanted to talk today quickly about um, uh, Venus and Mercury because Venus has been retrograde for like 40 days and that's all about getting to your deep emotions about relationships and what you need in relationships to be happy and feel fulfilled and feel like you're really in a, in a space of abundance and letting go of a lot of past hurts and things that make you feel bad and that hold you back. So Venus is in retrograde for 40 days and it just went direct. Woohoo! And it went direct in um, Libra, which is all about balance and feeling balanced in our relationships and what we're dealing with and trying to keep our balance as we move as we move forward after a freak a lot of turbulence we move forward from the heart okay so that's really important but at the same time which is the universe is very ironic man and these days has been putting us a little bit to the test no a lot to the test today mercury goes retrograde so Mercury retrograde is all about um, communications and specifically this time it's about travel and things like that and, and logistics. And so with our community and the California community, I know that's going to probably impact the uh, healing and the um, restructuring after the massive fires okay so there'll be a lot of logistical issues that will have to be dealt with and the only real solution to getting through mercury retrograde without a lot of freaking hassle is to go with your intuition all the time like if you follow your intuition during Mer mercury retrograde then mercury retrograde retro mercury retrograde will not affect you so much it will pick, still potentially affect people around you and potentially equipment and things like that because it's all energy it's even though it's an inanimate object it still has energy running through it and it is made of energy so it affects everything that's electrical and specifically things that to do with communication so you'll see your phone get messed up your computer whatever but also like I say travel logistics and this is around three and a half weeks in general that it takes to run through its course of being retrograde and going back direct so you know, it's just more, I look at it like waves of energy that we've been having to deal with that aren't always easy because it's just, it's almost like, oh, here comes another wave. Like you're standing in the ocean. Oh, here comes another wave. You need to brace for it, but brace for it in a way so that it doesn't knock you down. Brace for it in a way that it flows gently by you and the energy flows by you in a way that doesn't negatively impact you. Because it's very easy these days to get caught up in the angst of what's going on around you and the angst from people around you and the heavy energy that's permeating and has been permeating our world for a while, you know. And I've been talking to a lot of people on the heels of the fire and I'm trying to make this brief, but people sometimes tend to be really stuck in this dark place of despair right now. And I'm just saying that to try to help get you through it, you got to do these exercises to keep positive, you know, try to keep positive, <sighs> breathe and roll with it and have faith in your higher power and take and receive what people are offering in terms of help, you know? And so 
I'm going to go meditate. I'm going to hold a space for a really powerful healing and transformation around me and community and the world at large. And I'm going to breathe and I'm going to think about sending blessings to everybody out there. Okay. So keep that in mind. Oh,